The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And it doesn't matter where you're at. You could be in Poughkeepsie. Uh, you could be in Timbuktu. You could be trying to sell ice to Eskimos. Doesn't matter where you're at, as long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So we have uh, the Fed doing its little dance on the catwalk, on the catwalk, doing its little dance on the catwalk. Um, and their show starts here in another 23 minutes. So we'll be going to about 3.15. Uh, not a lot of movement, at least uh, after the initial, uh, what, 30-second reaction where everything kind of bounced around a lot. Um, we're up 50 points on the uh, S&P cash. Um, one could speculate that uh, everybody's leaving China and coming to the United States now, uh, that that cash is coming out, whatever there is. Uh, but we'll see. Um, we probably would have had another 50 points on it, but they're saying uh, that there's a, a good case uh, for raising rates uh, sooner rather than later. Um, but uh, we shall see. I think a lot of people are probably going to try to uh, ignore that uh, uh, rates. But, uh, you know, just the swing between the 10-year and 30-year uh, got to uh, give anybody in that market uh, some indigestion. Um, of course, generally, we don't have a lot of volume on a day like this, uh, doing about 5.7 billion shares as we start the show. So really, it comes down to the last 30 minutes, last 45 minutes after Powell gets done talking and yakking and tweeting and all the other stuff that these guys do uh, to just try to confuse and muddy the waters. Um, but uh, we'll see. They're going to be asking questions. Uh, it's always uh, an unknown whether or not they drop the chalupa uh, and make everybody a little worried. But my guess is there will be a lot of questions about when they're going to raise rates. And it sounds to me like uh, sooner rather than later is what they want to tell everybody. Now, the question is if other money from uh, – uh, areas like China where uh, the money is not going to be treated as well as it has been in the past is enough uh, to keep the market going higher and or lower. Now, this is the 22nd. We're going to go into uh, the uh, uh, fund buying in about a week. Um, it doesn't give you a lot of time to go back and retest the lows, although ideally that's exactly what I'd love to see is some kind of Pull back maybe 50, 60 points off of where we're at now. Uh, that wouldn't be anything in the big scheme of things. Wouldn't change any charts, but certainly would get us back down uh, to test a high volume low, which I would like if you're going to go long. Um, there's a lot of reasons to think that there's problems in the world. Uh, if you want to get scared, uh, just start watching some of the video from Australia where the uh, protesters are uh, looking uh, uh, and going up against uh, uh, the uh, the police uh, out of something that looks like it's out of the Road Warrior. Um, it, it could get scary out there. So I'm not saying there isn't any possibility of any downside. In fact, if I was very bearish today, this is exactly where you'd want to be pulling the trigger short. This is your bounce uh, you're getting just about everything you want. I'm not particularly bearish here. I think the, the, this could go along. Um, not also interested in jumping on uh, a grenade here before the end of the day. I'd much rather wait and see uh, that we have some kind of clear direction. Um, Fed uh, days are notorious for seeing uh, movements uh, that are counter to the eventual direction. 
uh, that we're not really getting or that we're getting a little bit higher here also makes me a little worried. I would have loved to have seen a pullback and then that pullback bought, even on today if you're thinking higher, not a small push higher. But uh, we'll see how the dust settles. Um, again, I'm pretty good at uh, figuring out what a lot of people are going to do. I'm pretty poor at trying to figure out what one or two or a handful of people are going to do. And right now, the direction of the market probably pretty much, uh, at least in the next uh, two trading days, uh, defined by what the Fed people say or don't say and whether or not they are misunderstood or really understood uh, because no one really knows because they always have to add, talk in some double speak. Eh, good 1984 reference there if you haven't ever read the book. But that's it. Uh, probably the most important thing was that the decision today was unanimous. So that tells you that maybe the scales are turning a little bit to the side of maybe micro uh, movements higher for interest rates sooner rather than later. Anyway, we'll keep a, a close eye on it. Uh, 4408 is the last tick that I see. Um, crude up uh, two and a quarter percent. Eh, what else do we have? Uh, yeah, 4409. And of course, uh, probably doesn't mean a great deal until we get to about 315 and they're done talking because there's a, a lot of landmines they could stand, uh, step on on the way to getting to the other side of the field. Anyway, 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com. And while we're waiting for the dust to settle here, probably a very good time uh, to uh, give me a call today because we're going to have probably some extended time while we're waiting for these guys uh, to figure out uh, if they're going to put their foot in their mouth, uh, if they're just going to all get together and, and uh, uh, huddle and sing Kumbaya for the next 45 uh, minutes, actually another hour before they're done talking. Uh, but uh, you never know what's happening. More of a gamble uh, than good uh, and prudent speculation, in my opinion. But that's it. Light volume, not uh, so um, so surprising. Uh, we've got Wednesday, we've got a great deal back of what we probably should have gotten. Uh, at this point, if you were going to short, this is probably the best risk reward. Um, and I would love to see one more retest of the low, but, uh, you don't always get what you want. Uh, but when you wait some time, you get what you need. So my paraphrasing uh, the Rolling Stones there uh, is generally the uh, best thing to do, which is uh, you can always uh, get another trade. A lot of times uh, getting into these volatile markets, if you don't know, the actual direction is a recipe uh, for uh, waving some cash goodbye. Uh, we'll get into, in the next segment, uh, into Microsoft, some of the other things going on today. In the sit rep. And uh, then we'll get into some charts. So uh, give me a call, 877 Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And uh, just a few things that caught my eye, and we'll talk about them. Uh, of course, we were waiting for the Fed today. We're up 61 points on the S&P cash. 44.16 is the last tick I saw there. Uh, Australian riots, uh, probably going to see a lot more of this worldwide as uh, people ask uh, if we're stuck in a Vietnam War where uh, no one will ever say uh, what the, uh, what the uh, victory looks like or a way to put a metric on it, uh, just more and more authoritarian uh, politics. But, uh, yeah, very very scary, those Australian riot, uh, I wouldn't call the rioters, they've been fairly peaceful, as we all know how peaceful rioters are. Uh, Microsoft's passion play today, uh, very uh, interesting rollout uh, for Windows 11. Uh, and a lot of their new hardware. Um, I will say why we're waiting for this kind of to uh, settle out. Um, if you haven't ordered a, a TPM, that's a trusted platform module. It's a little thing about the size, a little bigger than a postage stamp uh, that plugs into your PC. Um, maybe you've already got it. Maybe you don't. You probably do want it. Uh, you're going to need it uh, for full protection from Windows 11 or with uh, Windows 11. Um, I ordered mine. It's still going to be another couple of weeks. Uh, if you order yours, it probably will take a while. I would recommend it uh, doing it tonight uh, before Windows 11 really goes full steam. You may be wait waiting three months or six months for one. Uh, this is kind of a little chip that does all the encryption to let everybody know that your machine is really your machine. Uh, especially if you're trading on that machine, uh, expect to see most major brokers uh, start supporting it so they'll know that it isn't somebody else trying to transfer cash or money or trade under your name or a lot of other stuff. Um, I ordered mine. It was about $25. Bucks. Um, they are all back ordered. Um, you can pay two or three times that right now on eBay to get some. Uh, but uh, you want to start doing that now.
because I'll guarantee probably fairly soon, maybe six months, every one of the broker dealers is probably going to say that you need to have a trusted platform module on it. It just kind of plugs into the motherboard. Uh, whether or not you'll be able to use your laptop in the future is another issue, but you'll uh, have things like USB sticks and stuff that you can plug in. But uh, time to get busy on that. Uh, Windows 11 does look fairly good. I don't see any reason for me to, to uh, do it before I get my TPM, uh, but that's it. Now, uh, Microsoft did have their dog and pony show. Um, they finally have a laptop that hands down absolutely destroys all the uh, stuff Apple has. So not exactly sure if that's, I mean, the PC business, pretty small uh, part of what Apple does right now. It's up uh, a little less than 2%, 146.13. Stuff still not going that well for Apple uh, off the highs. Um, yeah, can they still go higher by the end of the year? Yeah, there'll probably be some decent sales. Uh, on the PC side, though, it's absolutely uh, Microsoft's actually blowing them away on that laptop business that they really kind of own for about 10 years. Uh, but, uh, you know, they've got a lot of new uh, features. The uh, Their new high-end laptop uh, is absolutely killer. If, you know, they started five years ago. Um, and really brought up the level of PC laptops. Uh, everybody's really kind of chasing them. Uh, but uh, certainly the new features with the pin, uh, the keyboard made out of uh, carbon fiber is uh, very stiff. Um, a lot of things that people had problems with uh, are there. Uh, the uh, pin for all the stuff tucks in uh, and is hidden away, so you're not going to lose that anymore. Um, the pin also has some very interesting uh, haptic feedback. Uh, I've tried one that works this way, and it kind of makes you feel like you're with a pencil and you're getting a little bit of a resistance. Uh, it really doesn't have that resistance because you're you've got a pin on glass, but it uh, recharges the pin. Uh, the little haptic feedback thing makes you feel like you're dragging it, which is kind of neat. Um, but, uh, yeah, you could just, you know, from, uh, the, uh, updated display, everything else, uh, I think it's going to start a useful, uh, high end laptops, probably going to start about 1300 bucks. You're probably going to spend 1600, uh, my thought on that, uh, or more for a really nice, uh, Microsoft, uh, surface eight laptop, but, uh, very cool. Um, the duo, which is the next version of their foldable phone that runs on Android has some extra slick, um, ways of talking between your desktop and your laptop and running Android, uh, on both of those. Um, they showed off some of the new features. I thought it was kind of Knight Rider-ish. Uh, remember the, uh, the, uh, Firebird that had the, uh, or it was a Trans Am that had the lights going back and forth. Um, on the side of it, when it's all folded, this is the uh, foldable phone that they have. A uh, lot of new features, uh, the way that they've written this thing, they've added uh, to uh, Android to really make foldable devices uh, actually usable. But uh, when you fold it, it's kind of neat because you can look on the edge of it. And, uh, you know, it's got uh, a kind of a, it's, it's a small LED display. Uh, that says, you know, who's calling, everything else, uh, how many emails you have. So if you wanted to lay it down in front of you uh, for like in a meeting and turn the ringer off, you can see all the stuff that comes in. And it just kind of, it's kind of like that uh, Times thing where all the headlines and the news kind of go by. Uh, some neat features on that. But uh, Microsoft, some very nice new hardware. And of course, uh, Windows 11, which is free to those people. Uh, that want it. In fact, you can update to Windows 10 still and then go to Windows 11 if you want. So it's not something that's really going to charge you a lot. For Microsoft, uh, the idea behind this is that uh, they will have uh, a lot of laptops with Windows 11 on it. And of course, uh, that means you will already have that trusted platform uh, module in the laptop. So you won't have to worry about it. Uh, gives something uh, for people to sell. And of course, they make uh, about 45 to 50 bucks 
license for each one of those laptops that gets sold. Uh, so they'll like that too. So pretty good stuff for Microsoft. Got a uh, uh, something in the den. Uh, what to buy? Repeat what to buy? Trusted platform module. It is a small chip that uh, does all the encryption uh, to say that uh, your uh, laptop or PC is yours and not somebody else's. Uh, da, 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 da. Anyway, we had another question. Waiting on me. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're back. Uh, just I put, got a picture up here on the screen right now. Um, these things depend on which motherboard you have or what uh, laptop you have. What I wanted to show you is what you're going to see right here. I'm going to highlight it out of stock. There aren't any of these uh, already. Order yours now <laughs> so that you'll be able to uh, get it in time. But my guess is you may have six months before uh, a lot of the broker dealers force you to have something like this. Now, if you have a laptop that doesn't have it, 
they'll, you'll probably be able to buy some kind of USB stick that goes in the side of your laptop or something like that. But most of the people that uh, trade full-time have full-time desktops. Uh, you need to order that thing now for your particular uh, machine. And if you get the manual out for it, just look for the uh, TPM module, Trusted Platform uh, uh, M, which is module. And uh, I'm showing a picture of it here. Um, this is probably about double the size of what actually one is. They may be one and a half inches by three quarters of an inch. I mean, the thing's pretty small. All it really does is hose a single chip uh, with a few resistors uh, about the size of a uh, half of a size of a grain of uh, rice on it. Uh, that chip in there has your codes, the ability to make your codes so that everybody knows that it, uh, it's only you on the opposite side of that. It's certainly going to make banking and a lot of other stuff uh, much more secure, uh, so you don't have to worry about it. There will be support in Chrome, uh, some other stuff like that for it. So uh, keep an eye on that. That's going to be a big thing uh, just for your trading hardware. You need to get that in the queue now. Like I said, uh, I'm waiting. Uh, I'll probably have mine maybe the first or second week of October. I don't see any reason to update your PC before then um, to Windows 11 because really the big thing, there's some nice stuff in it, but for the most part, it's all about this trusted platform module uh, and a lot of stuff that looks a lot prettier uh, when you get into it. Anyway, trusted platform modules. Uh, comment on Apple or on Facebook earlier uh, from John in Philadelphia in the den talking about Facebook uh, finally uh, coming to God. Uh, you've got your second gap down uh, that's even bigger than the first gap down. Uh, I suspect before Facebook actually gets uh, a, another uh, a significant low, you're going to get one more low in. This is on uh, Apple cutting them off uh, for uh, raiding uh, the uh, keys to the kingdom of your iPhone, i.e. finding out everything you do, selling your data, doing a lot of stuff that was against the terms of service that they had. And uh, isn't it kind of nice to watch two alligators uh, biting on each other, uh, like Facebook and Apple uh, on this issue? Uh, I think at least uh, for the moral ground, Facebook, or Apple has a little higher uh, calling here and saying that you're not going to sell your uh, someone's data without uh, them letting you know. And of course, it's going to be a big deal going forward. Uh, to me, this is a uh, not a drop in the pail, maybe half a cup in a uh, big pail. Uh, the big thing's going to be when the cows come home to roost. Another mixed metaphor there, so I win the award once again at the TFNN awards ceremony for mixed metaphors. But what are we looking for? Antitrust. That's going to come. It's not going to stop. Uh, the uh, gal that they uh, uh, pushed to the FTC uh, has written uh, her doctoral thesis on this stuff. And it's pretty easy to see the tea leaves of where she's going. Man, am I going to put more metaphors in one sentence ever? One day I'm going to have the my Rembrandt of uh, mixed metaphors, so make sure and save it. But uh, anyway, two gaps down, 80% chance you get a third gap of the, a similar size before you find a low in Facebook. Uh, as you said, uh, Apple still kind of reeling from the epic issues. None of these people have their hands clean. Um, I've, regret, I've uh, talked about Microsoft being the best of these companies. They're the best house in a bad neighborhood mostly because they've stayed away uh, from the uh, go woke, go broke crowd, uh, irritating their customers and other issues. Uh, and, I, you know, they just continue to really stay away from the landmines. And maybe because uh, they have a probably the only good social network, I'm going to say LinkedIn is it, Right. How many times have you heard anybody say anything about LinkedIn being evil or doing something horrible or something like that? It's business to businesses where they have. Um, the big thing that, uh, that came out of today, which I hope uh, we can adopt at TFNN, is uh, full duplex 
uh, on uh, Skype. And that is the ability to talk uh, like you're on a phone and both people hearing both things people say right now, especially when we're on the uh, 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 when we have callers, you know, if they're saying something, I can't say something. If I'm saying something, they can't say something. It's really just one way conversation. So you, one person has to stop to hear another one. Um, I try to talk to Tim Ward about it, but you know, if people don't stop talking, really, they're never going to hear you on the other side. So it, that will be a whole lot for Skype and some of these other uh, uh, systems like Zoom, where you actually can talk and hear uh, both sides at the same time and know that stuff's going on. So I'm looking forward to that. Not exactly sure what form it's taken, uh, but should be another big thing. At least, uh, yeah, you, you just can't, a few callers talk off on, over the host. That's because when you're talking, they can't hear you. It's a one-way deal. And generally what you have to do is wait for about a second or two, and then the thing will sit and figure out whether or not who's talking on what side. So there's always that horrible full duplex problem. Uh, it's actually what we have for these uh, kind of things, a single duplex at the moment. But uh, they gave a, a small demo of it today, and it really looked good. 4411 on the S&P cash as we continue to wait uh, and see what uh, the Fed's going to say. Uh, of course, they've been talking for a handful of minutes, and I'm on the show, so I can't really stop and see what these guys are talking. I can read the headlines, but uh, we shall see. Uh, anyway, a um, little off the highs, 56. Uh, again, if you are committed to the downside, the dark side, uh, today probably doesn't get any better for being short. You might be right for a full couple of days. Uh, I really, really, really for Christmas, um, and by Christmas I mean the next couple of days, would love to see uh, the lows retested. Uh, if they were, uh, so many of these people that um, don't understand the risk inherent in the market um, are going to get their hands slapped, and that over the long term is actually fairly good. Uh, but uh, we shall see. Like I said, a few of these things, like Facebook, could see additional lows. Um, wanted to see how some of these other stocks were doing. Uh, when we get back, we'll talk a little bit more about Disney. Uh, China actually, uh, you know, uh, banning movies from Disney, I think uh, is just a lot more to come uh, for Netflix, Disney, Hulu, all the rest. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Well, as I said, uh, if you want to, uh, if you don't like which way the market's going during a Powell talk, just uh, just wait five minutes. You're going to have something. Uh, Forty-three ninety-eight thirty. Um, you know, I'm not one of these doom and gloom guys. In fact, I heard somebody talking about uh, uh, what is the chance of an eighty-five percent uh, pullback in the market, um, and you know, I really love that uh, Super Forecasters book. Uh, but the uh, best forecasters for everything, not just the stock market, uh, tend to use kind of a Bayesian uh, way of, uh, of honing in and changing their mind. Uh, they don't do it all at one time. Uh, they let it over time uh, move. We're not going to go 85% lower tomorrow short of a nuclear weapon, in which case it won't really matter, will it? So, um, you know, the Bayesian version of uh, updating your beliefs uh, in that Super Forecasters book by uh, Tetlock um, is really kind of an eye opener to me for um, saying something. First of all, um, a lot of times the question is, are we going to go down 85 uh, percent? Probably the better question would be, what is the probability of us going down 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and uh, you lining all those up. And as time goes by, you know, like every weekend or something, you just go, hey, eh, there's one more uh, thing. So I'm going to put a little bit more on that stack of saying that could happen or a little less that that could happen. But uh, trying to uh, say that you've got to eat the entire elephant in one bite is generally fairly bad. Uh, for predicting anyway. Uh, a better way is saying, okay, what are the odds of this happening? What are the odds of that happening? Uh, what are the odds of any kind of step um, uh, or stair steps in that happening? Um, so generally when I would say, what are the odds of an 85% retracement uh, in the overall market? I would say probably today, 2%. Yeah, that's probably correct. Uh, generally, the thought is anything below, uh, anything above 80 uh, percent probably means that you're not objective. But eh, I think on that one, I'll go about uh, 2 percent. Um, now, 4,000, I think you could make a bet uh, on the S&P uh, that was probably more, I'm not bearish here until maybe uh, to the first of the year. But I would say, you know, could you say that there's a... Uh, even today, a 25% chance uh, that we could hit 4,000 before we had higher in the S&P. I think you always want to keep that out there. And as uh, things don't go that way, you move it back a little. Um, pre restate your idea today's bounce being an attractive short setup if you're inclined to do. Uh, I was saying in there when it was, uh, what, 4415? Um, that's generally the setup for a short position. I, you have a huge move down 
on a gap. Uh, you come back and you fill most of it. There isn't a lot of volume like there isn't going to be today. Then uh, you have probably some kind of reversal by the end of the day. And that's generally a good indication you're going to go back and retest uh, the high volume low from Monday's low. Uh, but uh, that would be it. So, yeah, if you went uh, whatever, yeah, it was about 44.15 on the cash when I was looking at it. And that was about where you would expect uh, a big bounce like that to go uh, before reversing out here. So uh, if, you're low, if you're short that, you put your stop probably at your entry point and you sit on your hands and see how the day closes. Um, but again, I'm not a short, I'm not a five or 10 or 15 minute uh, kind of chart trader. I kind of look at the end of days and that's about it. Uh, to, to what else do we have? Got some more emails coming in, so we'll take a look at that. Okay. Do, do, do. Uh, will Apple eventually make a foldable phone? I saw Samsung foldable. It was amazing to feel like uh, an iPhone 12 was a piece of elegant crap. <laughs> will uh, ever Apple? But uh, wow, is envious. Um, my guess is yes. Uh, there is a lot of stuff. Uh, we know that there's about almost 7,000 employees in Apple uh, down uh, running from Austin all the way to uh, Dallas-Fort Worth in that corridor that used to be owned by Texas Instruments in the 80s. All those buildings out there that have sat empty forever, um, Apple snapped up and others too as a lot of these companies have moved out to Austin. But they're working on a bunch of different stuff. I have to say that, uh, you know, everything in the uh, Microsoft thing was refined. We've talked about this earlier in the week, and that is Apple's uh, history has been that of a uh, revolutionary, not much of an evolutionary company. And them just being evolutionary over the last five years uh, just seems uh, rather tame. Uh, Microsoft still in that a uh, thing where they released a laptop five years ago that was good, probably better than the rest, probably not better than Apple's laptops. But now Apple has a product that's, I would say, probably significantly inferior uh, to the uh, um, to the Microsoft one. So, um, yeah, will uh, Apple make one? I think they will. Um, a lot of times when Apple waits to do stuff, uh, it has to do with now someone not copying them. More than anything, Apple just wants to be able to make something and say, we've got this and no one else can have it. But since they're buying all their parts, displays from Samsung, uh, memory from uh, Micron, I mean, you know, they may have a few things out there, but just about anything they do can be copied. And what they're trying to do is build their own hardware. So what comes out of that will be interesting. But uh, they've been down there about three years. Uh, not uncommon to see hardware like that take five years before the light of day. So maybe we get something in the next year or two from Apple that's not something we ever thought of. But, uh, you know, it's they, they kind of push it a bit. Um, Okay, now one of the big big winners that we had in the Tech Insider from uh, Hector says, explain what ARQQ uh, does exactly in third grade terms. And uh, a very good uh, way to ask the question, Hector. Uh, one of the most brilliant, probably the most brilliant uh, man of the last uh, two centuries, Einstein said that uh, if you know something well enough, uh, you should be able to explain it to a sixth grader, eighth grader, depends on which version of the story you want to listen to. Sometimes it's low, uh, as low as a fourth grader, but uh, I will try to do that. He's asking for third grade. I don't know if I have that in my arsenal of stuff. Uh, ARQQ uh, is one that we uh, picked up um, uh, and had a lot of trouble holding because guess what? Uh, it's a rocket ship. Anyway, we'll talk about what this company does when we come back. Uh, one of the first uh, shots across the bow in quantum computing uh, from the Tech Insider, where we brought this all day now. We'll be back in.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we're going to wrap up the show today. Question about uh, what RQ, uh, R quit, can't even say it, quantum ARQQ is a symbol for it, what they do. Um, we've talked about quantum computing and how I think it's going to wipe out most of the Bitcoin stuff. Eventually, they'll have to uh, move to quantum uh, techniques for encryption, that is keeping your stuff so others can't see it. Uh, for years now, they've uh, had a quantum system for handing out quantum keys. These keys are uh, at least today unbreakable. Uh, if they are broken, no matter where they're broken, uh, it's a weird kind of thing with quantum, uh, quantum entanglement that you'll be able to know that someone else is fooling uh, with your uh, entangled electrons uh, anywhere in the world. Uh, kind of weird to think that no matter what anybody does, uh, no matter how deep they uh, are in a mine, if they touch the key, then the other key breaks on the other side. Uh, and these guys have come up with an algorithm from generating it and have been um, sneaker netting it. That's uh, where you uh, move things around like on a USB stick. Um, they deliver uh, keys now to a lot of the top companies uh, by uh, – uh, the old kind of James Bond guy 
that had the suitcase or the briefcase uh, handcuffed to his uh, 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 to his wrist. Uh, they do that now. Uh, the big thing on this is they raised some money with an IPO uh, to uh, work, uh, go to the next level, which is satellite distribution of those keys to most of uh, the big corporations, uh, countries, a lot of that other stuff. Uh, they have a ton of patents. And of course, uh, you know, if you actually have something that works good for computer security, the sky's the limit. They are QQ out of the second side of the couple of weeks ago. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow.